Bridge of the Gods, such a great event. Super power. Peter Gordon with a huge kite loop L3. It's so awesome and the people are just so nice. Oh my gosh, can I get to you, blow a kiss? that bridge to taking your riding to another level, a professional level. So um, we saw a lot of uh, great riding today. Um, a lot of the kids look forward to this event. It's super fun to see the ages, you know, just how young these kids are and how ripping they are riding. <laughs> jumping about 15 feet and he's not even 15 years old. I am Mateo and I'm 12 years old and I love kiting. I love kiting and I'm 10 years old. My name's Wyatt and I like kiting and I like watching Mateo kite. That is a sick eye and hook roll by Mateo. That was Mateo who just came and now coming out of here, Mateo. But he is on an 8 meter slingshot RPM. He is also on hooking with a lot of speed. The level of riding that has come to this contest particularly has always been surprising. Coming at us, you see Mateo. Mateo is 12 years old. He came a long way to be here. Oh, that's a huge grab. That is incredible air. Enjoy the view when you're up there. But she is only 10 years old, going for a nice air transition. It's good wind, it's just not from the direction that a lot of the riders in the gorge are used to riding at Stevenson. It's east right now, but I hope it switches. But I'm goofy anyways. Well, there's a lot of riders who have been training at this spot in that direction, doing their trick list, going a certain direction. And the fact that it's completely switched around changes everything. You know, but it challenges you. There he goes with the front row. Impressive versatility. Oh, and now he's cruising toe side with a nice ride away. We are trying to get our Guam riders out. That means those are children 13 to 16. I've judged this competition for a lot of years and I love it because it's really fun first and foremost just to see the progression of the sport. Next time, we can definitely with the birdie dog. There are four people who have the right of way. Those four people are Dylan, Austin, Taylor, and John. John unhooks. He does a front roll, hooks in at probably an SM. Incredible back roll tight loop him. This is brought to you by Dylan, a loose for relay. There goes John with a nice S send to toe side. You saw Taylor going for the back roll to blind. Downwind, I see an unhooked Kitely back roll. That was by Dylan Murphy. John unhooked with a nice back roll. Austin Keller lives in Hood River. He is looking to win it. They all are. And John is jumping huge and doing one footer. It's going to be hard to judge. Usually the wind here is a uh, west wind. These guys are excited to not be competing on Easterly. It's nice to see these kids with a little bit more wind than they had yesterday. Coming at you now is Levi. Levi with a really blind. Impressive. On the outside was Dylan, known as sponsored by Exotic K Company in Los Barriles, cruising in toe side with a backflip to toe side. I really started riding and doing tricks when I was 
12. It's important to see sportsmanship. We like seeing that out there. We'd rather see more people riding than people in the water. This year in Mexico, I was 13, and I started working on like more technical, more complicated stuff. And now I'm 14 in Bridge of the Gods. He's tight landing with a backhoe. Smooth landing by John. All right, coming at us is Dylan. Dylan's going for the double spin and sticks it to toe side. He does really the switch. Oh, the blind, he got it! John with a double yeah. double and sticking it, yeah. I just don't believe that kid is actually 16. Let's hear it for Taylor, everyone. Make some noise for these guys. Austin goes for an unhooked kite loop. Oh, John. John unhooked. Levi's dad competed in this event over 10 years ago, believe it or not. This was my first time kiteboarding in Bridge of the Gods, and uh, I had a really good time. Next episode, the winning rides at the 2011 Bridge of the Gods Kite Festival. A KiteSites.com exclusive. So Dave won it in 02, we were just saying, and I, and I think I won it in 04. Some of the previous winners include Laura Mayer, who's a full-time rider now with Slingshot. I won this event two, you know, two times. Shannon Gormley. This competition's a lot harder than when I won. Sky Solbeck. The year I won it, it was, it was all about board ops. Tommy Fields won last year and is a full-time rider. The riding level is really high, so it really pushed me to do more and do better. It's just a whole lot of fun. It's excellent for anybody's career. I'm having the most fun I can possibly have, but a lot of that fun is just seeing people so stoked coming to the sport. The mini Groms and the Groms here are riding so well, the juniors. The level of technical tricks is huge. Kiting can really have a, such a good positive impact on people's lives. And so that to me is kind of why I preach the gospel of kiting. Mm -hmm.